still new. where I grew up. Let's go for a little walk up the hill. You do have to watch out for snakes. All right, I'm home in eastern Washington, up on the hillside behind my house. And it's just as green and brown and beautiful with the blue skies as I remember it. Behind me is the satellite dish, the TV dish that we used growing up. It's a fascinating device. Really what it is, is a small radio telescope. Let me explain. So it's pointing out at a satellite, which is broadcasting TV. It has one axis of motion. It has one fixed axis there. And with this drive motor, it can pivot back and forth, sweeping a range of satellites in the sky. So the way you watch TV is you have to memorize not just what channel you're cartoons are on, but also which satellite to point to. So we would go to satellite D7 or something, and then go to channel 21, and that would be the cartoons we wanted to see. So you had to memorize both the channels and the satellite, which was fun. It also meant we got TV from Canada and from other places that you wouldn't locally get. And the reason you have to have this kind of ridiculous dish is there's no TV reception here in this canyon. Okay, that's not entirely true. When we moved in and we bought the house when I was a kid, the old man who used to live here had put big metal panels on the other canyon wall and used those to bounce radio here into the canyon so he could listen to radio. Way out on the canyon wall, there were big metal panels for a long time. It's a little hard to get a time lapse up here. It's really bright and there's no clouds. Growing up here meant that I had a really good view of the night sky from up here. Even though there is a city on the back side of this hill, the city was small enough that it was still dark here. One thing that growing up out here allowed me was imagination. I remember when I was in high school and the space station had launched and you could go on the web and figure out when the space station would be going overhead. I was a boy scout so I knew how to use a compass. I mean, right? North is that way. Um, but they provided coordinates, at least on the website that I had seen, uh, in a coordinate system that I wasn't familiar with. Now, as a professional astronomer, I realized that that website, I think, had uh, right ascension and declination, the astronomical coordinates, so that an astronomer would know exactly where the telescope, where, where the space station was. So I came out here and waited for like an hour, and I never saw it. It probably went behind me. It's not the same sage you cook with. Mm, it smells good, though. The cheatgrass is really slippery. So the trick is, you know, walk on the rocks. Walk on things that don't move. In hindsight, I had really good quads as a kid because we would run up and down this hill all the time. Ugh, now I drive to work. I don't know, there's not really a point to this video. Just to uh, be outside and enjoy the splendor of our nearest star, the sun.